Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where we talk about the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and of course, well, we just talk about streetwear in general. In today's video, we're going to be covering that Palace Skateboards is releasing a new little tri-dart hoodie capsule to kick off 2021. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, it is now 2021. First video of the year. <laughs> 2020 went past very quickly. It feels like it was just January, February, March, then December all of a sudden. And now it's 2021. I mean, I don't know if you guys felt the same way, but that year went very quickly. Hopefully 2021 will be a little bit slower, but it's a new year. So we've got new streetwear, new sneaker, and new fashion releases to talk about. And we're going to be covering exactly that in today's video. We're going to be covering a new capsule of Callus Skateboards hoodies as they're releasing a new little drop today at 11 a.m. GMT time. Now, I, I'm a little bit thrown off by this release. Uh, the reason for that is that Palace obviously normally does their seasonal collections. They don't randomly do a like just a random drop or a random capsule like this. So what I feel like has happened is that Palace wanted to do this for like week six of their Ultimo 2020 collection. But obviously, because, you know, we're surpassed the end of 2020, they can't do a week six. They can't be like, oh yeah, this is week six, because it obviously doesn't work out like that. So they're kind of just like starting off the year by doing this week, by doing this drop, because they're like, well, we couldn't do it in 2020, so now we got to do it now in 2021. So that's why it's not a drop list video today, guys, because it's not technically the first week of a new season for Palace, and I can't technically call it the week six of the Ultimo 2020 collection because it's releasing in 2021. So that's why we're doing a streetwear talk video today. <laughs> I know, a little bit confusing, but that's how we got to play it. So in order to cover this new drop that Palace is doing, we're going to be using a Hypebeast article to cover all the official images there. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it, and that's really about it. Let's head on over there now and have a look at this Hypebeast article and read about and have a look at all the official images of the Palace Tri-Dart Hoodie. Here we are guys at the Hypebeast article and as always if you guys want to have a little bit of a read for yourself or if you want to grab any of the images from it, it'll be linked down in that description section below so you guys can check it out there. But what we'll do is we'll just quickly skip through the article, I feel like we don't need to like read all this, we just really need to focus on the release details and then we'll dive into the 14 images of everything that is dropping today, Saturday the 2nd at 11am GMT time. So let's get into it. Completed with, oh, it just keeps going on. Here we go. Palace's latest release is set to land on January 2nd, 11 a.m. GMT time, and will be available via the Palace web store. So this will be an online exclusive only, which I mean, isn't a, you know, a big change of pace for me because I can only ever cop of Palace online as there's no Palace Australia store. So, I mean, if you guys think that it'll drop in store and you live near a Palace store, hold up. Go to their website instead because it's an online only drop but i'm sure that's very very few of you but i thought i'd just mention that just in case there is some of you that buy it in store but anyway that's all the release details january 2nd same release time as always 11 a.m gmt that's about it palaceskateboards.com if you don't know the website <laughs> but i'm sure if you're here you know the website so you know don't need to worry about that too much Let's get into it. So let's have a look at all the tri-dart hoodies that Palace is releasing in this little drop. And here we are. Okay, so we have to start it off with this black Palace hoodie with a tri logo on the front of it, featuring three different colors. Now I'm gonna place money on that the back of it is the exact same graphic as Palace always loves to do that. I can't see them changing it up, but who knows? Maybe they'll blow me away with a crazy shakeup and the graphic will look different on the back. Well, no, it's exactly the same. <laughs> it's it's very, very typical Palace, but very clean, very easy to wear. It's simply Palace's Triferg logo done with a little couple extra graphics in the center, like these little lines here, and done in three different colors, three different colors for three different shapes. Triferg, tricolored, you know how it be. I like the colors on this one red green and yellow it works very well on the black hoodie we'll keep going through and have a look at all the other colors that it's also releasing in so as always we're getting a gray as well featuring a 
a color that what well, a color a tri-color scheme here that i'm not really too fond of so we got pink we got white and we got black and that'll be also showcased on the back here i don't know i i'm not feeling this color it's like the colors just don't mesh as well here white black and pink it, I, I don't know I, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are really feeling this color scheme here but i don't know i feel like the pink kind of just throws it off I mean, I understand that they couldn't have done white, black, and grey because the hoodie itself is grey, but maybe they could have done that on a different coloured hoodie because, I don't know, I just feel like the pink kind of throws off that colourway there. Either way, this hoodie is going to sell out. So if you want to pick it up, you've got to be there at the release time because anything with a tri on it, very much like a Supreme Box logo, goes out the door within five minutes, easily. But this one, I feel like, is my least favourite so far. I know we've only looked at two, but... This one isn't doing too much for me. Moving on, we have the white one. Uh, obviously, if there's a black, grey, there's going to be a white colorway. I personally, in past experience, have found that the white Triferg hoodies, regardless of the design, the white hoodies are always the ones that are the least likely to sell out out of the black, grey, and white hoodies. Uh, as you guys may know, last year I was able to pick up uh, the Tri Crusher hoodie in a white. And I think purely the reason that I was able to pick it up was because it was the white colorway, which not a lot of people were feeling. So if you want to play it safe, if you don't mind this colorway too much, I personally would recommend the white colorway. If your choice is between the white, grey and black ones, there are, again, some more images, so there's going to be more colorways, but a lot of people like to go for the grey, white and black pieces because they're just the easiest colors to wear. So if you want to play it safe and, you know, basically secure yourself one, if you're there at the drop time, I would say go for the white one. But that's just off personal experience. I could be wrong. Maybe this drop, they're going to change it up and everyone's going to go for the white one. I don't know. New year. New perspective on Palace. Maybe everyone likes white hoodies now. I don't know. But either way, I do like the color scheme on this one. The light blue with the black and the red. I feel like that just works a lot better than what we saw on the gray one with the white, black, and pink. We'll keep going on though and having a look at the rest of them. So we've got like a dark purple burgundy maybe color. On the back it features a yellow, green, and blue Palace Triferg logo. I don't mind this one too much. I think the colors work really well on the dark purple. It really pops on the back, but I just, I, I don't know. Nothing against burgundy. I just, yeah, I don't know. It isn't doing it for me. The actual color of the hoodie itself is, yeah, it's nice, but it's just not for me. Just not for me. We'll keep pushing on. Next, we've got a baby blue. Nice little light blue here with... Uh, some okay colors on the Triferg logo. It looks like I'm gonna say this is a brown, a brown, white, and darker blue. It's all right. I don't know how I feel about the brown color here, but that might be just me. Let me know if you guys disagree and you really like the brown on this because it contrasts a lot. But yeah, not the the Triferg logo coloring ain't doing too much for me. Next, we'll move on to a green. I'm not a huge fan of green as a color, and if I do, it's I, the green that I would prefer is a military green, and this, this isn't really ticking that box. Uh, it has purple, pink, and white. It's an okay color combination. It's all right. Next, of course, we have a yellow as the final color that is releasing. So we have yellow with a Triferg logo that is orange, blue, and purple. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, I say yellow, but it really is more of like a golden hoodie. It's not really yellow, but it's not deep. It's not like mustard yellow either. It's yeah, I think I'd put more money on it saying that it's more of a gold. It's more of a it's more of a gold, less of a yellow, less of a mustard. It's a gold hoodie. And the colours on it actually kind of work with it. I like the purple, I like the orange, I like the blue. It's just that I don't think I'd pick up another gold hoodie because I've already got like a um champion reverse weave one. And I don't wear that enough as it is, so I feel like adding this to my wardrobe would not be a smart idea because I wouldn't get a lot of wear out of it. I think if I was to go for anything from this drop, I think I'd go for the versatile colors like the black, uh, the gray, or the white. Uh, out of the three versatile colors, it's, it's a lot of color, isn't it, on the black though? I think I would do what I did with the Tri Crusher hoodie and go with the white. I just like the color combination of blue, red, and black a little bit more. I, I, I think the yellow and green and red on the black is kind of 
yeah, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I, I just can't see myself wearing those colors. But yeah, um, to sum it up, guys, I will not be going for anything from this drop. If I had to choose one, though, I think it'd be the white one for me. But that is everything that is releasing today, January 2nd, 2021, 11 a.m. GMT time. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. Do you think that this hoodie capsule is, oh, sorry, was meant to be a week six of the Palace Ultimo collection? Uh, and also, which pieces are you feeling? What are your favorite, what are your least favorite colorways of this tri dart hoodie that is releasing this week? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below. And that is it guys. That is all the official images, all my thoughts and opinions on, on the tri dart Alice hoodie capsule that is releasing on January 2nd, 2021, 11 a.m. GMT time. The regular drop time, except It'll be dropping on a Friday, not the Saturday, but who on the 1st of 2021 is going to go for a palace drop? So I understand why they kind of did with the second. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a solid little Triferg hoodie drop to start off this year. I really do feel like it was meant to be week six of the Ultimo 2020 collection, but they just ran out of time. Uh, either way, very solid little capsule here. I'm sure there's a color for everyone. For me, it was the white one, uh, if I was to pick any of them up, but I want to hear from you guys. If you were to pick up any of the tri dart hoodies that are releasing this week, which color would be your color? Which is your favorite? Definitely let me know how you feel about the tri dart hoodie in general or your favorite color down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming Palace Skateboards drops and the next collection when it starts to release, and of course the lookbook and everything like that, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel. It's a new year, guys, so we've got to aim for the new milestone. You guys, like, I, I was kind of skeptical. We were sitting at, like, we needed, like, five subs to reach our last milestone of 2020. And you guys came in on literally the last day of 2020 and just boom. <laughs> you guys just did it. I was like, whoa. Like I was looking the day before and we were like five subs off. And then you guys just came in and hit the milestone. So I was like, damn. Damn, the fella's coming in. <laughs> so we got to aim for a new one. And I'll see if you guys can do the same thing. So because it's January now, new month, new year, new milestone. Let's try and aim for 2,820 subscribers. We need... Less than five. I don't want to wait all the way to the last day of January to hit it, guys. So hopefully, with your continuous support, we can hit 2,820 subscribers before the end of January. I was about to say the end of 2020, but the end of January. Uh, that's everything i got to say, guys. Uh, I would just like to wish everyone that is going for this hoodie good luck. I hope you get the color that you want, and I hope you don't have to pick a second color if you miss out. You, 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 I have faith. I have faith. Everyone that watched this video, you're going to get it. I guarantee. <laughs> I, hope that, I hope that's not legally binding because it, it's rough going for Triferg pieces. I know, I know. You guys saw in my most recent Live Cop Palace video that it's it gets tough. But I wish you all luck. I hope you get the color that you want. But until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Palace video, until the next Drop List video when Palace's next season starts, guys, I'll catch you later.